Gamers are ditching Radeon graphics cards over driver issues. Can we still recommend Radeon GPUs? As I planned and was beginning to run our next big graphics card benchmark test, I felt I had to shift gears to discuss AMD's driver woes after a recent poll we ran on the community. We've already reached out to AMD for a statement and they have responded and we'll cover that towards the end of this article. At this point it's no secret AMD is struggling to iron out some driver-related issues with their radio on RX 5000 GPUs. Typically we like to give both AMD and Nvidia a few months to iron out bugs when releasing a new GPU series, especially when they're based on a new or mostly new architecture, as was the case with Turing and Navi. Nvidia went through a fair share of teething issues with Turing, but we think it's fair to say they went on top of any major issues very quickly. AMD, on the other hand, has had seven months to sort out Navi, and by the looks of it, they just haven't been able to deliver. We've received countless reports of crashing, flickering issues, and of course, the black screen bug. I should preface this by saying we haven't run into any major issues after countless hours of testing new radio on GPUs in our labs. Around four to five months ago I ran into the black screen bug once. We're not even sure if it's the same black screen bug people are complaining about, or if the two are even related. My issue was seen when updating the display driver, after a reset the Windows desktop wasn't seen again, I was instead presented with a blank screen every time Windows loaded. The fix was to hard reboot until it prompted me to load Windows into safe mode. Then I used the display driver uninstaller tool, DDU, to remove the bad driver install. I was able to load back into Windows 10 normally, clean installed the driver, and after that I never saw the issue again. The only other issue we've encountered at some point is the green or pink screen bug after installing new drivers, though I haven't seen that one for at least the last few driver updates. Not as big of a nuisance, a reboot fixed that every time. It's worth noting that Tim hasn't used a 5700 series graphics card as a daily driver, so his experience is more limited to testing on a clean system. Though he's been running extensive game tests spanning several hours that cover pretty much every quality setting in games, and not a single hiccup in all that testing. As for me, I've been using the radio on 5700 XT in my main rig for about 4 months now and in that time I've only had a single system lockup which forced a hard reboot and I don't even know if it was related to the graphics card. For the first few months I coupled the Radeon with a Core i9-9900K, and then recently moved to Threadripper with the 3960X and a fresh install of Windows 10. No issue for more on this story, visit the news article link.